the little things. That is what separates champions from the field. Every pitch, every swing, every moment brings us here. First, the hurricanes from Mobile, the upstart Cinderella's ready to crash the party. A team forged by fire, and the kings they look to the throne, the defending state champions, the Auburn Tigers, led by a legend looking to strike twice against the storm. But they remember what got them there from day one to today. The little thing. Welcome to round two. Advance. Can he get the curveball to bite the way that he wants it to? 2-2. Two, two. There's a good one right on the outside corner. Situation. 1-0. Chopper back to Olsen. He'll field cleanly on the second. And Clay on the first. A 1-6-3 inning in. Back up the middle. Past the diving second baseman, Graham. Cosby has a one-pitch base hit. It's going to get past the center English, the center fielder English. And advance. And digs in the 1-1. In the dirt, it's going to get away from golf. Cosby now decides to go. Golf struggles with it, bobbles it, and it's a head first slide by Cosby. And the pitch from Olsen. Big swing and a big hat. A couple of big swings by Ewing. 2-2. Two -two. Back up the middle, off the glove of Olsen. Olsen will look home, throw home, get the force out. A fielder's choice. The 2-2 two -two from Olsen. Got him swinging. Ryan Olsen pitches into a bit of. Clay digs in down to the count of ball and two strikes. Chopper to the first baseman. Auburn trying to score the run. And Connor Cosby's going to be. 1-1 one -one to Henry Allen. Hit well in the left field. Down on a base hit. Todd Clay gives Auburn a three-run lead as he was able to swipe set. Cade Ballou flew out to deep left center field back in his first at bat. Hit well in the right center field. Going back on it is Lingus. English, he's going to look up. Wave goodbye. A three-run blast for Cade Blue, his eighth on the season, his third in the playoffs. And the Tigers lead by a touchdown, 6 nothing. Auburn leads. As they have scored five times here in the bottom half of the third, And most off-speed pitch goes the other way. Does Waldrop. Norton's going to touch third. He's digging for home. Here comes Straub with a throw. Not in time. Tigers add the extra point. Seven. And they turn momentum. And the 2-2 big swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Ryan Olsen for the first out here in the fourth. Olsen with a long look in now. Will come set. 1-2. Curveball, got him swinging. Blue digs in. Off-speed pitch, hit hard and fair down the first baseline. He can run. Let's see where Kate ends up. As digging it out of the right field quarter is Syker. Blue touches second. He's digging for third. He's safe as the throw is way late, and for Cade Ballou, he can run. Let's see where Cade ends up. As digging it out of the right field quarter is Syker. Ballou touches second. He's digging for third. He's safe, as the throw is way late. One, two. Off-speed pitch, lined back up the middle, a diving catch by the shortstop. Tips, Auburn's already brought home one. And Brad Harper and the long jump, the 2-2 two -two on the way. Called strike three on the outside corner. That one in there. Called strike three. Another back. Top half of the fifth. No score. Tigers with a threat up. Threat here in the fifth. Base is loaded. Nobody out. G Todd Clay hits it to center field. English ranges over. Makes the catch. The throw is to pass the cutoff, man. And because of that, Sully Speaks is able to take third. Ryan Olsen hit well. Left center field. 
That ball is gone. Pat McGlon, a three-run home run. And just like that, the Tigers lead this one by a score of four to nothing. Got an 0-1 fastball. Middle end, got extended on it and hit that one out of the ballpark. His second home run in the playoffs. And his your shortstop, Todd Iso Clay, the batter. One, two. Hit him. It's an RBI. It's a two RBI. One, one. Checks his swing. Here comes Speaks. He's going to slide. He is safe. Ball got away from the pitcher. All Stewart will come set. Checks the runner in second. The one two on the way. Got him swinging. And that'll do it. Griffin Stewart, three straight complete game shutouts. As Auburn gets the win, and they will improve to 29 and six. And also, they advance to play their rivals, the Central Red Devils. Those games will be at Phoenix City or in Phoenix City at Central as Auburn will look to go back to a state championship series for the second straight year and what would be the fifth time in six completed seasons and the fifth time in seven calendar years. We'll be back in a minute as we will jo be joined by head coach Matt Seymour to talk about today's games. You're listening to the Auburn High School Sports Network presented by the Orthopedic Clinic. 